This new AI coding assistant has the potential to replace every single coding assistant that we know right now. It's just a brand new tool called Bolt.new. It took every single good part of an coding assistant that we know and put it together and even enhanced it and improved it. Bolt New is developed by Stag Blitz. It's a company that I never heard about it before. And it seems that the source of this tool is open source. I found a GitHub repo of it over here. And Bolt New actually defines itself as AI powered for stack web development in the browser. So it seems that it's heavily focused on the full stack development part, which is kind of my stuff that I love to learn about. And here it answers a question that people might ask, what makes Bolt New different? Here it says that Claudia and V0 and all other tools are incredible, but you can't install packages from backend or edit code. That's where Bolt New stand out. And this is the list of what can it do. Install and run NBM tools and library like VET, Nix.js and more. VET, it means that it can run Remix, if I am correct. Run Node.js server, interact with third-party library, APIs. This is amazing. Deploy to production from chat. If that deployment from the chat is functional, it will be a killer app. Share your work with a, a URL. This is, is it seems like it's promising a lot. I'm gonna test it out and see if it's correct or not. But I found there is a tips and tricks that we should follow when we use this tool. The first one, be specific about your stack. So be specific of what you want. Do you like Astro or Next.js? Maybe you want to use Vue who mentions them in your initial prompt to ensure Bolt scaffold the project accordingly. Use enhanced prompt icon. It seems there is some sort of enhance for the prompt in the browser tool itself. Scaffold the basis is a basic first, then add the feature. So I'm gonna start simple and build on top of it and add the feature that I want. And finally, batch simple instruction. Save time by combining simple instruction into one message. So don't give them a small bytes, give them a big chunk of instruction. Enough shit chat, let's test this tool right now. I have here this simple prompt, create a hotel booking app named Bravago, like Bravago using Nix.js and Tailwind with dark colored modern design, add fake data including images, names, prices and description for the hotel bookings. And I'm gonna follow the tips and enhance this prompt, I think this is how you enhance the prompt, by clicking this icon, let's see how it will enhance it, okay. Oh, it make it longer. So create a hotel booking app named Bravago using Nix.js GS 13 with the app router. Okay, this is a very detailed. This is a really good implement. A sleek, dark theme, modern design with subtitle animation, including responsive layout for the mobile and desktop. Okay, it added the responsive automatically. Add fake data for at least 10 hotel. This is fantastic. With high quality images, nicknames, varying prices ranges. The, the, the detail of the enhanced prompt actually is already fantastic because it's mentioned details that I wanted to add as a features. I'm amazed about how detailed this prompt is. So let's hit run and see how it will work. Certainly, okay, it started to already load right now. It's a little bit slow now. Okay, it's open this kind of editor on the right. It's writing the code for the first page. I think it is layout. Then it moved to the first page. I think it's home. Right now it's started to creating the header. The speed of writing code is very good. All right, then a search bar. So it's already have a search bar capability. Then hotel list. All right, this is gonna be a sync component. Okay, here is a terminal that I didn't notice that it existed down there that started to install the packages mbm install and run mbm dev and here on the left it's trying to sync implement the feature dark theme responsive layout hotel date data and search functionality further improve the app you can implement the actual search functionality in search bar component add more filtering option okay it's installing libraries this is good okay it moved it automatically to preview tab and I didn't click anything so far. I'm just watching. 
and trying to see how it will create this okay it's opened automatically and uh dark color correct first image is broken this this one is working there's only three hotels but the ui is really nice uh, i can see here it's a little bit the design actually added the icon let's me let me see if i can list by rating okay list by rating the search it doesn't work okay this is uh, this is really amazing i have to give it or not be honest let me click this okay it's switching from light to dark my bookings does it work no this busy have a problem okay it's already shows a problem error nick is not found should i try to fix this it's kind of like cursor when he show an error try to implement a fix so i'm gonna fix a problem right over side this error according i really want to understand how this tool work okay so already kind of fix the page your booking will appear here i right now wanted to add the book now functionality so all i did is a right symbol prompt on here in the chat as a follow-up and i told it to enhance this prompt and it gave me this result add the logic to implementing the book now functionality and display it on the booking page please include any necessary component state management and abi integration if required i'm gonna hit enter and see how it will work it will be nice to see what happened when it's load like it's a syncing process or what it do exactly updating the layout so it can update automatically files without doing anything and write new files without you asking here it trying to improve the hotel list now let's talk about the negative part about it a little bit until it's done for me it seems that it's a little bit slower in the syncing part but it's good this is not a problem for me if it can do all the stuff in a few minutes when i sign in and try to create account i had few issues but i somehow managed to sign in and create account this is the only two thing that i couldn't uh, that kind of annoying me so far let me see right now the preview right now it's done let's see the preview of the updated feature okay so it's added uh let's me let's book now okay check check out and one guest i'm gonna give it if i click this one okay it's give me uh, some sort of calendar check in uh maybe okay check out at the end of the month book now okay, this is it's mean it means should be in book my booking oh yes it's it's in booking this is really cool so it's adding the booking right now i can add another one book now at the calendar let's check in in 14 of the month and go out in the next one I can increase and decrease. I don't think it can be negative. Yes, you can't go in negative. This is really cool. And right now the guest is real book now. If I went to my bookings, I'm going to find them. I can cancel this one and keep this one back to home. Let me search for a one. It's the searching is not working, so I can fix this. I can sort by rating and prices. But, but this is really amazing so far. I don't know yet how to get the code. So I think either I have to deploy it or open it in stack blitz. I think if I click open on stack blitz. Okay, this is the bar that it have the code. Okay, this is how you download the project that if you want to have the project on your machine. After it's created, go to open in stack blitz and there you can automatically navigate you to the new project that you created as you can see here it's working on installing dependency and running all the stuff but there is a small icon over here download the project this icon is what you need to click on if you want to download this project and make it work on your local machine so is it also it's here it's kind of responsive i didn't notice this it's responsive for mobile and desktop let's take a look to the package json okay these are a ton of ui over here libraries this is a lot of libraries here i don't know why but you can also create a reboot repository this is nice this is nice it's like in a kind of code editor right here i think you can write whatever what you want 
Something else that I noticed that you can start a new chat like ChatGPT and here it told me what kind of chat that I have for Vago Hotel Booking app. So if I started new chat, it will start from McLean and I can create a new app. I'm gonna now try to the last thing that it promised is deployment and see if it can deploy actually the stuff that we created over here. I mean that Hotel Bravago that we created. And let's see here, deploy the application. Certainly deploy the Bravago Hotel. It's gonna push it. Okay, it seems that it actually deployed the app that we created over here. I mean like it's still the image is broken, but it doesn't matter. And let's see, booking is working, home is working, switching lights working let's book now give it a cleanser all right check in check out i don't think that if book now oh it's working this is amazing this is really amazing you can cancel booking so it delivered in everything that it said it can create apps it can install uh, the libraries i didn't test the abis maybe i will make another video about it can deploy it can enhance the prompt it can show you the code and you can download the code and create rebirth or terry inside the whole uh, stack blades over here i am very impressed i love this tool it's better than cursor in my opinion i mean like if i can get it inside my visual studio code it will be even better but i don't think that you're gonna do that yet maybe someone will and uh, wow I mean like the, it's up to you guys to decide if this tool is good or not but i am as a full stack developer this is really great because this tool like the components the ADR, the design the two pages this this logic it can take you a few hours to create if you like laser focused without ai of course and yeah this is really good this is really nice and uh, i really want you guys to go out and test it I found out that it's the free plan right now. It's have a limited public project and collection. You can create a limited project using it. So for the web containers, you have non-commercial usage, one project, I think, and up to 25,000 ABI session per month. This is really generous of them, but I don't know the limitation of talking this to talking to this tool. So let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this tool? Go ahead and try it and see if it's great or not. And let me know if you like it or you hate it. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.